Hey guys, this is Quincy Man Seven here, and today I'm going to be showing an invention for Tekkit, or the Technic Pack, really, but it works better for Tekkit. It's called the Storefront, pretty much. And what you do is you'd put your put your stuff in, and then you could turn it on because it's got a lever. So if like you don't want people buying stuff during the night, if you're like you know like a Tekkit community and you have like store stuff, or you don't want people buying stuff or you're closed or something like that, you can turn it off. But you turn it back on and your thing will get pumped out and then the items that you want will come over to you into this chest that you put the stuff in and then you can get that and be on your way and the stuff that you put in there goes goes directly to the storefront owner or whatever output chest you want it to go in you can see I've been testing it a few times here but anyway so basically it's completely self-sufficient unless but you have to keep your stocks up inside of your chest because as you see there's no more um tnt in there because i took it all out so i'll be showing you guys how this works and how to build it and everything in like a minute but i just wanted to show you all that it can do and stuff like that so because how this thing works is that you go see the item detectors, and the item detector sees the item and impulses the redstone signal. And for this one, we want it to say two iron. So we have a counter here that counts to two, and then it pulses whenever it gets two iron to go through it. You put one in, it won't work. And this one has a gold, but it's just pulling out two stacks, so I'll show you guys how to do that later, because you guys know a filter will only pull out one stack. Uh, uh, redstone pulse and then this one is just a simple the standard one with just one output and one thing and I'm showing you guys how to do that now I'll also be showing you guys how to make your little off lever which is extremely simple as so you guys can see it's just a timer hooked up to a lever but you guys can make it a lot better than that it's just a, an example but anyway so you start off you're gonna need some filters some item detectors chests stuff like that so you're gonna need your alchemical chest or your input chest, wherever it may be, and you're gonna filter anywhere around it in the bottom, on the top, on the sides, anywhere you want to. And then you're gonna have one pneumatic tube, and then you can have all your wares like this. The only problem with this is that whenever you, if you, all your items have to be separate items, like I can't have like this one be one gold and this one be two gold, because if I put two gold in there for this one, it would also trigger this one. Because it it it's all the one gold, so you all your um payment options have to be a different thing, but that shouldn't be too hard because I mean this is take it and there's so many so many different items you could choose. I mean you could choose like copper, tin, bronze, or even paper if you wanted to. But anyway, so once you've got all your all your item detectors set up, and you have to have a space between them, just so you know, and then you place your Output chest where you want all your money to go, and you can have that anywhere as well. I sh I'm just putting it here for simplicity. And then you have a wire going out from each of these things. And then this is going to be the one where it counts twice. So, as you guys might realize, you need a counter that counts to two. Very simple. So, I'm just going to orient that and go down to two and the decorment has to be two as well and then I'm going to use my wire make sure it's there it's colored wire because you don't want them touching I guess you could have multi like regular wire but it'd be a lot harder you need a lot more cover strips and stuff and then you would run this to your bundled cabling and this might have to be two parts I don't know I'm watching the, the time here We're already about four minutes so now this is going to be the one where you put in one item and you get two stacks out. Okay, so this is a, this is actually a lot different than this one. And so we're going to need a redstone repeater, just a normal kind, because it's a lot simpler and it works just fine. Set that all the way to four. Get a cover strip here. Place your thing there, and then one there, and then we're going to need two buffers. And the buffers are just crafted like that. You guys can see, of course, it starts raining, but I can turn that off, no problem. Okay, so we need our two buffers like that, and this is connecting, if you guys see that. And you can put a cover strip there, which might be simpler, but if you have a screwdriver, then you can just shift, 
and click it a few times until they're both gray and that will cause it so nothing connects on the sides which is pretty neat alrighty and then you just need your color and that's pretty much it for the double one it doesn't matter that they connect right there so and so now whenever you put one thing in there it'll pulse twice like I don't know if you guys can see this let's just hook this up like that for simplicity and I don't know if I can get this so where you guys can see it but I can try get a lever see that it pulsed twice I don't know if you guys saw that or not but that's just how it's basically gonna work and it pulls twice because it goes through this one and it's delayed and then goes to that one again so it pulses twice pretty much and then this one is just gonna be my simple normal one just so you guys know how to do it there's no confusion or anything and then we're gonna where all your stock is gonna be okay yeah it's already getting to six minute mark so we may have to cut it short I have no idea but we're just gonna place some stone blocks right there and like that like three right there and then we're gonna have to have a pipe not like that but going over to here make sure it doesn't touch this filter and so that's we're gonna tap there and we're gonna need our three filters and then our stock so one two three and then two three alright so that's all fine and dandy and then now we need covers like that so we have a nice nice room to work with then our bundle cabling can go up like that nice and neat and then when you just connect your wiring to your thing so this is white orange purple and then it's, it's not really tricky but if you have this right here and you put it on the filter then it would trigger the filter because that color wiring just doesn't do that so you just gonna need to like that it's not too hard but anyway then you just put your wares in like if I want the diamond to equal dirt and then this thing to equal two stacks of this lightish wood planks that don't look all that great that that'll be your goal it equals two stacks of that and then your iron you iron with your destruction catalyst which is kind of overpowered but this is just for demonstration okay so then we're gonna place in our oh duh and we also need over here a timer which I did not get and a lever which I have Okay, so then you just place your timer, kind of going as fast as you want, like that, if you really want it that way, and then you could just have this up to a lever anywhere you want it to shut th shut off the store whenever you want it to be closing time or whatever. So now we're going to have our two iron going in to get us our destruction catalyst. Alrighty, and as you guys can see, whoa, um don't know why that happened let's see that look like they're like flashing between whoa oh ha huh. <laughs> I know what happened oh my goodness okay guys don't make that mistake you have to put your thing in here I don't know why these things are still pulsing wildly it's kinda neat though nice little rhythm anyway so then you need to put your iron in there gold in there diamond in there and then that should fix your problem that was just a little bit of a thing and and see now that only thing taking at that time okay that was a big mess up in my part but not yours so that thing there and then clan star why not alrighty so if we want to put our two iron in which of course I don't have anymore this video is getting really, really hard pressed for time because I can only record 10 minute videos. So, alright, so iron and Klein Star. Where are you? Hmm, wait. Oh, 
I mix my all right, I just hit the 10 minute mark. I'm just continuing this video. I'm going to edit it on YouTube. Edit it, which you guys probably can see right now. But, alrighty, so it just turned dark a little bit. So, what just, what just happened, if you guys were watching, was I put my client star in this one. And I asked for iron. And there's nothing in this chest anymore because of my wild thingy move over that happened. So, diamond is going to. No, that doesn't work. Diamond's going to equal. Almost a full stack of alchemical chests. Why not? Even though it's extremely overpowered. Alright, so now, if we put... Why not? Uh, diamond in. It'll just go through. This is just a simple one. So, as you're gonna see, alchemical chests came out. And now if we put our gold in, this is the one that pulses twice. So the both stacks of wood came out, which is what we wanted. And then, if I go get iron real quick... So I've got, I guess I got plenty of time. I mean, I really don't need any more time. I mean, I was literally just about to finish. But who cares? Oh yeah, this is our wares. Alrighty. So and then there's our client star. Yeah. Okay. Just mental note, guys, or not mental note, but just note to you guys: make sure you have these things right here, so that way your wares don't get pulled out and then to the system and ended up in the chest where you can't access or that your customers can't access and make sure you have your item detectors with your things in them or else they'll go wild I actually I don't even know why they went wild but it was pretty cool actually uh, nice little beat but anywho that's pretty much it guys this has been Coincent7 from Coincent Minecraft have a great day